Hello and welcome to this full video build of the Revel kit number 07659 Kenworth W900 in scale 1 to 25. This is the first US truck I have built so far. Let's start with the unboxing. The instructions are typically Revel still in the old black and white design. The box has already received the new design. The sprue molds frames have no letter or numbering, but the parts are numbered. The kit has 8 sprue frames, 2 white, 2 chrome, 2 grey and 1 black, plus the cap and hood separately. There are also rubber tires. The clear parts are packed separately. Even though the kit is older, this is not very noticeable. The Kenwar W900 has been in production since 1961. The kit includes a Kenworth W900A, which was produced from 1965 to 1982. The construction of the model starts with cutting out the parts for the chassis, engine and brakes from the sheet. Parts of the sleeping cabin can also be assembled at the same time. I used a saw to separate the cabin and hood from the cast branches to avoid damages. Parts of the sleeping cabin can also be assembled at the same time. I used a saw to separate the cabin and hood from the cast branches to avoid damages. The engine is nicely detailed. The kit contains a Caterpillar 3408 V8 with a cubic capacity of 18 liters. Gluing the engine is uh, very easy. Due to the age of the kit, it has a slight fish skin in one or two places.
the model is supplied as a 6x4 axles, which means that both rear axles are driven. The chassis is completely assembled before painting. The model does not have a steered front axle. The rear axle already has air suspension. The exhaust parts are glued before painting. These are only attached to the model at the very end. Now the painting work begins. Everything is primed with light grey to achieve better paint grip. The engine is painted in typically caterpillar yellow and the chassis in black. The chassis is always difficult to paint. In addition, all other parts that will be painted black, such as the fifth wheel coupling and carton shafts, are also painted. Then everything is sealed with a satin mat. The cap and hood are also primed and then painted red.
Various parts of the engines are detailed with a brush, such as the water. The air filter are also glued before painting. All parts are to receive a metallic paint finish are pre-painted in gloss black. The hood and cabin are given a clear coat and the sleeping cabin is primed. I painted the interior in light brown. Now I continue with the chassis. After the engine has been glued in, the carton shaft and the radiator are attached. The sleeping cabin is of course also painted in red. The roof of the sleeping cabin does not fit 100%. On the lower parts, here it is, has to be carefully sanded. The outer rims are supplied in a chrome sprue molded sheet. The rims are also not glued as on the European truck models, but with an intermediate ring. The chrome parts are glued with a special glue. I'm not a fan of chrome parts as they don't always hold so well. I finished the dashboard with a brush, I didn't use the decals but filled the dashboard with black. I painted the window and door seals on the cabin with a brush. As they are very nicely raised, this works well without masking.
The interior is ready for gluing. The seat, gear lever, pedals and steering wheel are glued, followed by the dashboard. First I paint the door seal black and then the edge with silver brushes. This is also a very nice detail on the model. The brush must be kept very flat so that only the surface of the doors receives the silver color. The steering wheel and some of the door handles are also painted silver. Then the windows and the interior are joined and glued together. This is followed by the chrome bumper and the sun visors on the cabin. I assemble the headlights without cutting them out. Then the position lights have to be painted clear yellow. The air intake hose is painted in black. The windshield wipers are inserted after the cabin has dried. This is followed by the other chrome parts such as the lamps, exhaust pipes and door latches. The air filter holder, canvas lettering on the hoods, all position lights and horn.
The cabin is glued to the chassis, the final details are painted on the mod flaps and these are glued directly, as it is the fifth wheel. The sleeping cabin is painted black at the bottom because of the reflection in the tanks and placed on the chassis. Now the axles can be fitted. I paint the air filter sprockets with a brush and mask them off. The radiator grill is also installed with a special glue. The support that holds the radiator are attached to the cap. Finally, the hood is fitted. The holes for the indicators have to be redrilled. Fitting the mirrors was the biggest fumble, very delicate. All in all, I'm very pleased with the model and it won't be the last US truck I built. Now you can see a 360 degree rotation of the finished model. If you liked the video, leave a subscription, thumbs up and write a comment. See you soon back here on the channel for the next video.